Animals tend to vary in strength, and it matters a lot in the performance of different activities. A single animal can do a lot by itself. However, for some animals, it's very important to live and work together in groups. For them, it's much better to exist in herds, as it enhances their chances of survival. You might find a hundred thousand birds teaming up to avoid being targeted by predators, elephants roaming in hordes, and forty whales clubbing together to defeat the biggest animal. There may be two different species helping each other out. One cannot imagine the height of cooperation among the animals. Although strength and speed play a dominant role in the lives of different species, those who look for real clout have to resort to the power of numbers in the animal kingdom. Let's see how the magic of numbers works. After all, majorities are authority. Starlings were meant to fly. Starlings are seven to nine inches in size. These birds of Europe and North America make a long journey every year while migrating to the south for the winter. They travel in flocks of hundreds of thousands as they need the support of each other to make up for their vulnerability and survive against the attacks of their arch enemies. Peregrine falcons are vicious predators which can attack starlings during their journey and threaten their survival. A flock of starlings form a murmuration where all the birds fly together in perfect sync. Its results are unbelievable as it becomes extremely difficult for the falcon to predict what they would be doing next. In addition, these murmurations are capable of flying at extraordinary speeds exceeding 90 miles or 145 kilometers per hour. Scientists believe that each starling communicates with just a few other inmates moving closer by and follows cues and copies their movements. The process is known as scale-free correlation. When one bird moves, others in the surrounding copy, similar to a pulse that ripples through the flock. However, it cannot be taken as a foolproof arrangement. To avoid predator falcons, which can still launch a surprise assault to dislodge a bird from the flock, but chances of success are minimal. Wise starlings have also catered to this danger. They arrange the murmuration consistently, which makes it much more difficult for predators to assess which birds are leading the flock. Resultantly, the falcon fails to ascertain the next direction of the group and find out which bird will be the easiest to target. Band of Buffaloes Buffaloes roam around the wide open plains of the African continent. They face constant danger from apex predators of the ecosystem, the lions. Buffaloes form herds comprising from 10 to 1,000, whereas their arch-rival lions form a pack varying from 2 to 40 members. When traveling in herds, it's quite difficult to target buffalo. The herd keeps the younger and weaker buffalo in the center of the herd, whereas an outer circle comprises powerful members. Besides using their numbers for defense, Buffalo can use their strength to launch an offensive attack against lions by chasing down packs or sneaking upon sleeping ones. They can trample down those who fail to wake up and flee. Buffaloes have hard hides which can sustain injuries, and if a buffalo is taken down by a lion, it can take up to 30 minutes to kill it. An attack on a buffalo angers the entire herd, which charges against the offender. Baking Bees in case a bee attacks a mammal, its stinger gets stuck and rips out the bee's insides, leading to termination. However, if they attack insects like spiders, the barb doesn't get stuck and permits the bee to deliver its venom through several painful stings. Honey bees live in hives, having more than 60,000 residents at a time. When one of them stings, it releases an alarm pheromone which alerts bees in the vicinity. Therefore, all angry bees furiously attack the predator. A species of bees known as the Japanese honeybee has a unique defense. On detecting an attacker like a large Asian hornet, the bees create a tight ball around them and frantically beat their wings for generating immense heat up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit or 47 degrees Celsius. It forms an oven that roasts the hornet alive. Interestingly, Japanese honeybees are capable of surviving in temperatures between 5 and 9 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than giant hornets. They control the temperature of the bee ball to ensure their survival. Following the leader Geese fly in a V formation which usually comprises approximately 25 individual members and sometimes even more. They work closely together to conserve their energy as each bird flies a little higher than the bird in front and they can exercise control over the direction of wind resistance as the bird at the head of the formation encounters the most drag. The birds take turns on the pole position and fall back once they feel tired. Flying in a flock, geese can traverse a far longer distance while facing much less wind resistance. In case geese try to fly alone, it would experience a similar situation like a single pelican who needs to beat its wings more often. 
V-shaped formation ensures that geese can stay together while flying through difficult conditions and also remain aware of who all are with them, especially after encountering a predator. Similarly, fighter pilots fly in V-shaped formations. Free Riders Some animals are aware that having overwhelming numbers in their group can prove to be detrimental to their survival. But this assumption does not apply to all situations. Interestingly, mites and carrion beetles are accustomed to working together, but at times the sheer number of mites might become a problem. While watching this footage, you might be surprised, but be assured that mites are trying to get a free ride from carrion beetles to lay their eggs in animal carcasses. The beetles have to create space by eliminating fly eggs and maggots who often occupy the space first. A lone beetle needs the help of mites for eating the eggs and maggots for managing space for its own larvae. Therefore, it carries mites that prey on the larvae of anything except that of a carrion beetle. Hand holders. The most adorable aspect of otters is they're instinctively working together. Sea otter families comprise up to a hundred members. They should be together in even numbers as they have to hold hands for sticking together. Sea otters mostly stay in the water and rarely go out on land. To ward off any threat, they stay together even while sleeping. They lock paws before taking a nap to prevent them from floating away. In some cases, a male otter initiates hand-holding with a female, which also serves as a declaration of their matrimonial relationship. Despite being smaller in size, most of the otter species display immense bravery when threatened. River otters are known to kill alligators that violated the sanctity of their pond. In some cases, giant otters manage to scare even jaguars. Different Dentistry we know that birds of the same feather flock together, however, it's interesting to know that two different species can also join hands for mutual benefits. Crocodiles and plover birds serve each other based on the common need for dentistry. Crocodiles require help to clean their teeth to get the annoying food debris and parasites off. Crocodiles keep their mouths wide open to avoid overheating. During this process, the Egyptian plover bird flies onto the teeth of crocodiles and starts picking out the food. It serves both odd companions, food needs of the plover are met, whereas the crocodile enjoys a dental service. Perhaps the crocodile appreciates the plover bird as it does not eat the bird, while the plover displays immense bravery by getting into the mouth of a predator. Eels and Wrasse Moray eels can smell out prey, produce toxin-laden mucus and breathe underwater, but they cannot clean their teeth. So the eel has to get help from blue stripe cleaner Wrasse, which serve as a dentist. When eels rhythmically open and close their mouths, these tiny fish move inside the eel's mouth and eat the parasites and dead tissues there. In this process, the eel gets teeth cleaning service, whereas wrasse get meals as well as protection from other predators. Wrasse are also known to establish a similar relationship with manta rays, groupers, and barracudas. Killer kin. Orcas are also known as killer whales. They thrive together. A pod of orcas comprising members varies from 10 to 40 can be extremely dangerous. Interestingly, most of the orca pods maintain their relationship throughout life, hence providing extraordinary time to develop excellent coordination. On sighting prey, orcas join hands to isolate themselves in small groups. Complete pod being at the location they can chase, play with, and consequently exhaust their victim. The larger the number of orcas in a pod, the less the energy they need to use for long and tiring chases. Most astonishingly, orcas are aware that they have more power when they are more in numbers. Their pods are so powerful that they're known to prey on large sea creatures like giant squid, dolphins, sperm whales, and even blue whales. They encircle the target, closing all possible escape routes. They also communicate among them underwater while resorting to a complex audio call system. It helps them to position every member at the right place of the circle. Huddle up. Maintaining the requisite warmth to survive while facing 120 mile or 193 km per hour Antarctic winds and temperatures falling below minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit is a tough job for emperor penguins. Therefore, they live in colonies of up to 10,000 birds. While on land, emperor penguins huddle together with their backs towards the wind keeping their heads down and they share the collective body heat. They have to remain tightly packed and in case a single penguin moves a step, the whole flock has to also adjust for filling the gap and maintaining the temperature. Research suggests that they make movements roughly every 30 to 60 seconds and cover a distance of just 2 to 4 inches with each step. It requires a large reorganization in the huddle. 
A single penguin does not spend more than 50 minutes in a huddle. Those located inside require to move out for avoiding extreme temperatures, reaching up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, beyond which a penguin cannot bear it. Capture Colleagues Like prey animals, some predators also work together to conserve energy while hunting for food. Coyotes and badgers tend to team up for doubling their hunting power. Coyotes are solitary animals living alone or in loose family groups. Coyotes are proficient in hunting above the ground, whereas badgers have the prowess to prey underground, especially when going for elusive burrowing animals like a ground squirrel. Coyotes working jointly with badgers catch one-third more squirrels than hunting alone. Both companions are competitors as well for the same meal, but together they split the work and lead to a win-win situation. Dolphin Danger the shark is the most feared animal in the oceans. In the past, dolphins are known to kill sharks, but they can do it only in groups like a pod of 20 can mount a strong assault. Some species of sharks like great whites can grow up to a length of 21 feet and possess sandpaper-like skin, whereas bottlenose dolphins can grow up to 12 feet and their soft skins can be punctured easily. Dolphins make up their vulnerability through agility, speed and large pod sizes. Dolphin snouts are made of thick bone with a blunt finish which can be used to deliver a hard, ramming blow to a shark's soft underbelly. This deters sharks from attacking dolphins. Birds of a feather Guineafowl are ground birds and are mostly found in sub-Saharan Africa, and they are well aware of the importance of working together. On the farms, guineafowl are usually at the mercy of predators roaming in the area. Guineafowl usually make a pack of six members and make enough loud noise which can intimidate and scare away the enemy. In addition, the noise created by guinea fowl also serve as an alarm to warn other animals and farm owners in case of any danger approaching the farm, like snakes. Although snakes cause over 80,000 human deaths every year, guinea fowl don't feel intimidated, and groups varying from 20 to 30 birds are known to surround small snakes less than one foot in length. They close ranks and take turns pecking the snake to death. What the Flock Despite being termed as the dumbest animal on the planet, sheep behave differently when moving in a group. These groups vary from 5 to 500 members. They start displaying flock behavior. They become stressed once separated from their group members and solemnly follow a leader irrespective of the size of the flock. This poor species does not have any active defense mechanism except their sheer numbers. In case a predator attacks a flock, the sheep disperse in different directions to confuse the attackers. After dispersal, they once again reform a closely knit formation to cater for the danger. It presents a weirdly hypnotic drama as the sheep stay together and run away from a definite threat to life. Bubbles and Bella Bubbles, an African elephant, and Bella, a black Labrador, are residents of Myrtle Beach Safari, North Carolina. They've turned into best friends. Bubbles throws a ball with her trunk, whereas Bella jumps off the back of Bubbles and retrieves the ball. Bubbles came to the sanctuary in 1983. She also appeared on the silver screen in Ace Ventura when nature calls. In 2007, a contractor building a pool in a sanctuary abandoned his black Labrador, which developed an incredible bond with Bubbles. Till today, the duo are inseparable. We hope you enjoyed learning about the unity amongst animals. Can I ask you which of these creatures amazed you the most? Do share your views with us in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you all next time.